it's Rob McFarlane here, and today we're going to be going through how to hide a mic. Not like this. <laughs> Badly wrapped microphone, that's my fault. Ah, oh, look at that, it came apart. We've got our lav mic. We're about to shoot your interviewee arrives and they are wearing some strange ass outfit and you don't know what the hell to do, where to shove this mic to get the best possible sound. So with that in mind, thought I'd share a couple of tips and tricks I'd come up with over the years on how to make sure that your mic is in the right spot, getting the right sound, but is absolutely invisible to give you the best production value. Most of you are gonna be in a situation on a corporate film or a documentary where someone's gonna come in and they're gonna be in a full suit and tie. So their shirt's done all the way up, you can't clip the microphone there, you've got a, a nice big jacket so you can't get too close to that otherwise you're gonna hear rustling and they've got a tie on. Now, the tie is one of the best places to clip a microphone on, however, most of us end up just using the normal tie clip and clipping it onto the side of the tie and that's kind of it. But we can do better than that. There's actually a secret little tube that you can send your microphone up and get the perfect sound without anyone knowing that your microphone and cable is there. Another fantastic place to put your microphone is the collarbone right here. So you see the divot in the collarbone and you can go either below or above is generally the best place and you tape your lav mic into the collarbone. What's great about this place is there's very little movement here even if they are a very chatty, talky person and it will actually be a great place to avoid rubbing on any fabric because again, it's inside the hollow of the collarbone. Now obviously for some people they have less of a collarbone divot than others so this is going to have to be on a case by case basis but that's a brilliant place. A little gaff tape over the top, put that in place, run the cable down the back and Bob's your uncle. You've got great sound. Another fantastic place to put the microphone is actually in the center of the chest. The reason for this is because, well, I mean, the chest actually resonates quite a bit of the sound. Obviously, in certain situations, you can't put the microphone in the center of the chest and tape it on. One, maybe you're dealing with a female interviewee and that's not appropriate. Um, however, don't forget, you can always pass the mic to your interviewees with the tape on and they can put it on themselves. In this case, what you would do is you would pass the end of your lav mic down the top with the microphone with its tape ready to go, you pass it to them and they secure it in place just at the middle of their cleavage or just above the sternum by about three or four inches. A little side note, don't forget, when you're taping it into the collarbone or the chest, take the wind muffler off. That can actually poke out slightly and it doesn't look good. This is a much easier and smaller device to hide in the collarbone or on the chest. Once it's underneath a shirt or a jumper, it doesn't need the wind muffler anyway because you've got one on. So generally you also have a slightly wider shot and you have to find somewhere to not only hide your lav mic, but you also have to hide the actual transmitter pack itself. Now I use the Rode Wireless Goes. They are so small, so light, they really, really make a big difference in just hiding it somewhere. So one of the favorite places that I know a lot of sound guys, a lot of interviewees, tuck the transmitter pack for your audio kit is in their back pocket. But we all know that's not where you want your transmitter pack when the person sits down, because the last thing you want is a squashed transmitter. So instead, if they have a dress on, for instance, and they don't have any pockets, or even if they're wearing a jacket, you can actually clip this to the bottom of their dress or the bottom of their coat, which overhangs the side of the chair, or if they're standing, it would be out of the way of the shot and be much less noticeable. This is also a great way of not ending up having a big bulge in someone's pocket, be it a chest pocket or a side pocket, and seeing the wire looped in. It actually keeps the wire inside their clothes and you're more likely to have a more seamless look. Finally, the last place, if you end up putting the mic on someone and you still have to hide the mic pack somewhere, well, 
One last place that I think is a fantastic place. Quite often, obviously, we're not gonna see the back of the interviewee. So you can actually clip this onto the back of their top or jumper a little lower down and you're not gonna see it. Now, the tricky part here is how do you get the wire around to the mic pack? What you can do therefore is you can actually run the wire around and underneath their collar over their shoulder and into the wire pack there. It's a really, really great way, especially if someone has long hair, this can be a really easy way to hide the wire and make sure that it also doesn't get tangled in anything and you're not having to send the wire down someone's top or dress to do it, which for some people is fine, but for others can be a little awkward, maybe. Maybe they don't really want you to be sending stuff down their dress if they don't know where it's been. So in review, Use the inside of the tie tube itself to not only hide your microphone, but hide the wire from view. You can use the divot just above someone's collarbone to again, tape and hide the microphone in a brilliant place. Next, you can also tape the microphone to the center of someone's chest. On a side note, microfiber tape that you might actually use for bandages is great because even with a little bit of sweat, a little bit of clamminess, it won't release the microphone. This is a fantastic way to ensure that your microphone stays in position for the entirety of your shoot. If you have nowhere to put it, don't forget, you can use these mic packs and actually clip them to the underside of a jacket or dress to keep it out of the way so it's not obvious while you're filming. Finally, if you're in a real bind, try and use the neckline of the person's suit or dress or whatever they're wearing and hide the mic pack on their back. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's content, hit subscribe, smash the like button, maybe even hit the bell icon as well and check out the links below for even more learning content to up your game on your next project.